don't get derailed by what the customer tell you. Um, listen to them. Don't believe in it. Uh, I think I mentioned it before in a couple of videos, but I mention it as a an advice. I uh, don't think I have a video for that dedicated. So today is a uh, an excellent case study uh, to show you guys what I mean. Uh, behind me is a twenty. 2000 and I think 9 S550 Mercedes so this mechanic shop I come to a lot uh, they're a dealer slash mechanic shop inspection station whatever you want to call it uh, customers complaint uh, no fan operation so I have a video of uh, what to expect when you check for a uh, fan uh, especially with the four wire uh, plug and uh, I sent him the link and he called me he said I need your help so I am here this morning and I came to the car and the first thing that I did I scanned it he said that they changed two fans and uh, it's still not working this is the old fan and here's a new one and that's the second one and uh, when I scanned the car I had those two codes in the engine control module M47 which is the fan module engine and AC electric suction fan with integrated control output uh, stage st st uh, what is that? Whatever. and then this is a 0695 and then another code 2359 the control wire to the component M47 engine and AC electric suction fan with integrated control has an open circuit and as you guys see both of them stored and current so what are you gonna do first thing you pull up a wiring diagram although I kind of know what I'm expecting but just to make sure here's the wiring diagram for the coolant fan it's right here those four wires we have a brown ground we have a red which comes from a fuse 12 volt and we have two more wires one is pin number three comes from the front sam control module with fuse and relay uh, fuse box comes from the fuse box and that should be 12 volt and the other one which comes from the engine control module this one is the pulse with modulated on off on off which controls the speed of the fan uh, the command of it so what I did, I came and uh, this was away and I unplugged this uh, harness and with the key on, key on now, you come and check your, your stuff. So the red one should be. I am on negative and we have a positive on the red one. The brown one, make sure that it's not uh, short to a uh, battery voltage, which is not. The other two, the small ones, the red and green, you have power. This one comes from the fuse box. And this one, the last one, the red and, was that red and black? What I had here, I had. I had uh, uh, blinking. I had blinking. This was blinking all the time. The the light. I think if I switch. Okay. The, I just switched to positive. And let's check the ground. We have a ground. And here, this is the blinking that I was telling you guys about. Look. You see it? This is a blinking. It's fast blinking. It was slower. So I'm like, okay, I checked three with the test light. So I need to check the that blinking one, which is the red and black with a scope. So right here, what do we have? We have a uh, signal. Pulse with modulated. This is off time and on time, and I believe it is, if I'm not mistaken, what is that? 90, 10, 90% 90 off, 10 on. 
So, this is with the key on. Now, if you start the car, you see, it just switched. The switch too, right here. On is more than off. It's as a matter of fact, it's the opposite. So now the fan should be coming on. Okay. But when I plugged it to the new one, when I plugged to the new one. I didn't have no operation. See it? The fan is not running. It's, I just push it with my hand, by the way. Ooh, now it's running. Now it's working. It was not running at all before. See, it stopped now. No, it's going, still going. See it? I stopped it. If I push it. Okay, so so what I wanted to say, I wanted to probe on that wire when we have a command. So I told them, give me the old fan, and they did. And I'm gonna connect it. Bear with me. Just connected the old fan, and we have operation. When I came to scan the car again, those two codes were stored. That's why I sh earlier I showed you the PDF. So those two codes are stored now. Now what I did to get to, get to this point, this is what I did. I didn't have fan operation before. Those codes were still active. But what I did with this plugged in here, I went to engine control active tests and engine and AC electric suction fan with integrated control M47 yeah engine off key on engine off and then what I did see how I would click myself this is what I did I kind of I kind of pushed I, I kind of woke up uh, everything was working fine uh, I mean everything was supposed to be working fine except the system needed a command to know that the previous code is is, is now is no longer present and I think this car has an AC problem because every time you put the AC on it goes off so when he talked to me on the phone I was like okay so leave it run and let it get to temperature see if the fan comes on and that's when he called me he said no the fan didn't come on but it's, it's so weird that all, all the system needed is that that the activation right here. all I did I didn't poke no wires I didn't fix any 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 broken wires I was expecting to get a broken because he said the belt broke in this car and it damaged a part of the AC compressor and the old fan he said it's broken although probably broke the how, how it mounts to the car not sure but watch this so accelerate 60 70 and you go back here all right I need two hands for this Hold back on that red and black and see and when we say when it was what 70 percent look I'm gonna put it back on 50 50 percent right so 50% you can see here when you stop and you zoom in the off equals the on time look when I put it on 70 or 80 or I'm gonna lower it to avoid the, the noise look 30 20 20% 20 look what's gonna happen here you see it so now 80% off 20% on 80% off 20% on and the fan is slow
I am pretty sure that the, this fan is gonna kick in with the uh, with the temperature uh, with the engine to temperature, and uh, I just tell them to fix their AC problem. The AC, I'll show you guys what's going on with the AC. Let me get out of this control first to get the car control on the fan. Exit. I just exit it. All right. Let's go to the car. Um, they didn't call me to check the AC. Look what's going to happen with the AC. Blower on, but when you when you go on, see it? It goes right back off. Something is disabling the AC system, so they need to check that. But for us, I think it was a really, it was really a cool, uh, cool tip. And uh, uh, I learned something today, especially when it comes to Mercedes. I mean, I don't, I don't do a lot of Mercedeses, but. Uh, well this is something to learn definitely uh, I hope that you guys benefited from the video I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys so much uh, stay tuned for the next video